axial deformation, a past board exam, similar to a past board exam. So this is a cable supported rigid beam. Welcome back to Gilisanya Engineering Videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time we upload new videos. All right, so a passport exam, similar to a passport problem. Okay, here is the problem. So this is multiple choice, so you have a chance to solve this problem. Huh? So the beam is supported by a pin at C. Okay, rigid beam to, no, rigid beam. Uh, pin at C and an A36 uh, guy wire, AB, high strength guy wire. The wire has a diameter of 12 mm. Okay, 12 mm. The distributed load W. So, ano yun? Ah, causes the end of B, sabi dito, itong B, the other end, to be displaced 5.5 millimeters downward. Okay, yung L natin is 3 meters, ang beta naman natin is, uh, our beta is 30 degrees. Okay, the questions are, the strain of the wire AB, strain. Ano ba yung strain? Uh, deformation divided by the length, the simple strain lang. And then, the tension in the wire. And the third, the magnitude of the distributed load uh, W in kilonewton per linear meter okay so we have this so similar to a board exam so how will we analyze this one we are given the vertical displacement of a point b okay we can solve this in so many ways no? uh, number one given uh, we are given the displacement we can solve this using geometry huh? So we can uh, have the actual position of the deformed shape, ganon, uh, and then solve the angles. Pwede uh, kaya lang uh, medyo mahaba-haba. Now, okay, a very easy way to do this, or an easier way to do this is, and take note, the deformations are very small. And then approximate, but for a very small deformation, of course, you don't allow your structure to deform, to have a large deformation, diba? that's the fact. You don't allow that. Uh, so when you talk of the formation of a uh, structure, you talk of only small, but small deformation, very small deformation. Okay, this is how you analyze that. Uh, uh, specifically at B, first you draw the lines, the original lines of each member. Okay, our cable is along this line. Ito yung line of the cable, and then the line of the beam. Ayan, ito, 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 this, this red line here. So the line uh, of the beam. And the line of the table. Right? Now, next, take note the beam did not deform. Uh, it was not given. The properties of the beam were not given. Uh, so we will assume this is rigid. So, meaning it will not contract nor it will not bend. So, very rigid chat. Okay? So, since the beam will not deform, you draw a perpendicular. You draw a perpendicular line to the original position of the member from the point where it's the final position is. So if this beam will not deform, the final position of this will still be at B. So you draw a perpendicular line to that to this original position. Yeah. Okay, ito yun. Okay. So that's the perpendicular to the, the original line of A B drawn to its final deformed shape. So because the beam or the member CB did not deform, it will stay there. Okay, how about for the wire? For the wire, of course, it will elongate. In fact, one of the questions is, is the strain. So the wire will elongate. So its final position is not there. It will be somewhere here. Unlike for the beam, it, okay, for this beam, uh, let's go back. For this beam, the final position will still be there. Okay, for the wire, it will be here. It will deform by a certain amount that we do not know yet. Uh, delta AB. Okay? Okay, next step, you draw a perpendicular line to that. Uh, perpendicular to this original position of the wire. So it will be like this. Did you get that? Right? So perpendicular, so 90 degrees. 
So the intersection of these two lines, that's the final position of B. Let's call it B prime. That is already the final position of the uh, point B. Let's call it B prime. Again, I highlighted it. All right, so let's work with the angles. All right, so this is 30 degrees. So ito yung 30 degrees natin. So this should be 60 degrees. So this angle here is also 30, 30 degrees. All right, so that's it. Then uh, given in the problem is the vertical. So uh, it was stated here, huh? The, this, the distributed load causes the beam end to this space downward of 5.5. This is it. 5.5 mm. Then we can focus now on this triangle, and that is a right triangle. Did you get that? Okay. Uh, you can uh, rewind the video to go back to the explanation. Now, you might ask me, sir, what if the beam CB contracts? Because obviously, CB is compression. Uh, the component of this uh, tension in this cable will induce a compressive force on the beam. What if it did contract? Okay, how do we how will we do that? Okay, listen here. Let's do it here. So this is the B, this is the line of uh, action, this is the line of the cable, and ito yung line ng ating beam. So if the beam contracts, so the final deformed position is not there. It will be like here. Right? So you draw a perpendicular to the original position of the beam to that point. Perpendicular. So dito, uh, you will draw it from here. Okay. And then for the cable, this is the line of the cable. If the cable will elongate this much, you draw a perpendicular to that. That's how you do that. But there are two things to remember here. The line of the member, original line and the form, and the, uh, shall we say it, uh, absolute position, non deformed shape. Uh, kasi na contraction, the contraction is like this for that beam. So there you start draw the perpendicular line. The intersection will be your final position of your B. So that's how you do that. All right. So let's call this B prime. So this is now the displacement of B. So there will be vertical and horizontal displacement. Vertical displacement, horizontal displacement. Unlike here, your B, because this did not contract your B will only have vertical displacement. There will be no horizontal displacement. All right? So how will you solve this? Well, uh, that will be, we, maybe we can uh, have an example about this. Well, but this will involve uh, knowledge in trigonometry. All right? Okay, let's proceed. So we now have this triangle. So let's focus on this triangle. We are interested with this. Uh, for us to solve the strain of this cable AB, we want to know that. Huh? So focusing on the triangle, let's start with part one. All right. In this triangle, sine of 30 degrees is delta AB divided by 5.5. Okay, this is it. Delta AB divided by 5.5. Then we can solve now delta AB. So delta AB is 5.5 times sine of 30 degrees. So that's 2.75 millimeters. Okay. So we need a strain. So we need the length. Huh? Now, Going on this triangle uh, BAC with right angle at C, sine of 30 degrees is, uh, no, cosine, oh, sorry, cosine will be 3 divided by the length. All right? So that the length is equal to 3 divided by cosine of the angle 30 degrees. Correct? Cosine of theta is 3 meters or 3,000 mm divided by the length. So the length is 3,000 divided by cosine 30 degrees. Then we can now have the length. So we can now solve the strain. So the length is 3,464.1. So the strain is equal to the deformation divided by the length. All right. So the deformation is uh, 2.75 divided by the length 3.64.1. All right. So that will give you 0 0.000794 and that is letter B. Okay. I hope you understand. Okay, let's have part two. And this is now easy. The tension in the wire AB. Okay, the tension in the wire. Okay, take note, we already have the elongation. The elongation, the axial deformation is PL over AE. We will assume that the wire did not exceed its uh, uh, proportional limit. 
all right so that we can use this formula so p a p l over a e so p a b that is the required here l is already known area is uh, given here 12 mm so we can solve that the modulus of elasticity by the way it was not stated this is 200000 i forgot to to write that this is 200000 sorry uh 200 all right 200 200 gpa or 200000 mpa that's given that's given sorry all right so we can now get the the, the, the load, uh, PAB, length, and then area, and then the modulus of elasticity, you have to convert that to megapascal. Take note of the units now. Force should be Newton, length in mm, and the stress is megapascal. That is consistent. So we can now solve for PAB, ang lalabas or the unit will be Newton. I just converted it to kilonewton. So 17.96 kilonewton. So that is letter A. All right, then finally, the magnitude of the distributed load W. Okay, so we now have the tension. Okay, alam na natin yung tension dito. So for the magnitude, all right, for the magnitude of the force of the distributed load. So we already computed the tension in the cable. So we have 17.96, so the forces are now complete. We have the W unknown and that tension. So we will some moment, no, some measure of moment. We will apply equilibrium conditions. Some measure of moment about C zero. So we will have okay clockwise W times three, three times one point five. Okay, minus PAB sine thirty degrees. PAB seventeen point ninety six sine thirty degrees. The moment arm is three equals zero okay so we can solve now w 5.987 kilonewton per linear meter all right so i hope you learned a lot from this video so please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified with our newly uploaded uploaded videos thank you so much